My rugby roots were with the New Zealand coach, and New Zealand tradition, and New Zealand teammates. That was the basis and the foundation that I learned to love this great game. And we learned the importance of the haka uh, in the Maori traditions. I was taught this by Maoris and by other New Zealand friends. And in the haka, traditionally, the Maori warriors would perform this uh, before they went to battle. They'd, they'd face their opponent and face their fears uh, with the haka. And in the haka, they would not only serve a challenge to their opponent, but they would call upon their ancestors, including those who were deceased, who had gone before, to support them. You know, there's a Maori saying, lead from behind. Not only leading from example, but leading from generations and ancestors who have gone before. You know, we talk to these boys so much about the importance of family, importance of maintaining a good and honorable name of making your family proud. And we can't be so narrow in our thinking that we think it's only our mother or father or the grandparents that we know. Our family goes back centuries and millenniums. And you know, when people have a sense of identity, of who they are, and of the importance of respecting that identity, it, it helps transform the soul. It's an endowment to that uh, soul, to the person, uh, with that. And that's one of the things that we try to teach. And so the haka is something that we do with great reverence, with great respect. The boys are taught the meaning of the haka, the miri, before they are ever allowed to perform it. Now, out of the sacred nature of the haka, we do not perform it before every game. We think if we did, it would be too common, too ordinary. We don't do it to be cute. We don't do it as some funny little dance. We do it because we believe in it. I always tell the boys on the team that their greatest cheerleaders are not the pretty girls on the sideline. Their greatest cheerleaders are their family, including their family that goes back generations and generations. I believe this. We believe this. I believe they want to be a part of our life. They want to be our greatest cheerleaders, and all we need to do is have the faith to hear them. And so we talk about this as a team. We talk about the importance of honor and integrity with that. And the haka, there is a spirit to it. The boys can feel it. We can feel it. And it's something that unites this team and brings us together in a common cause. Yeah, no! <laughs>